Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to take a video regarding new update uh, Hearts of Ice uh, I thought maybe some of the people uh, are, have missed the message on the system button on the emails or maybe you did not read it fully I will try my best to explain as simple as I can and let's dig deep inside the update, right? First of all, they are giving a season two plus, like a season one plus, uh, which is which will be called um, Hearts of Ice. Like as always, the map will be changed, and the, like the fog will come back, as as it says, because the exploring will be more exciting. I guess there will be more rewards, more gems, because in season two uh, there were uh, I I got like ten thousand gems by exploring the whole map, so I think they will upgrade uh, even more. And there will be like mysterious price um, uh, on the map and they are like you can kill them, they are defensive and also the new feature of this season there is that you can be able to build turrets uh, which they will be able to automatically attack the enemies within the range. Also the great great change, uh, the policy system will be changed. I guess redesigned, which means which means maybe there will be new policies or maybe new trees on how to get to the good stuff. Because uh, as you already know, the policies at the beginning are very very bad because you you just want to have a military expansion to rise your troop amount. So I think that this is a good change. Uh, the second uh, part of the patch, the update, will be the smoother road to prosperity uh, again i already uh, put the video regarding new legendary heroes and they are here uh, infantry legendary heroes kolgul and goresh kolgul will be infantry pvp tank and goresh infantry rally precision um, and uh, we need to mention that we will be able to get Skolgul through the lucky spins and wheels of destiny which means kolgul will be more easier to get and Goresh will be through Strongest Lord. And as everybody knows, Strongest Lord events is good for the people who are spending a lot of money. Not for me, for example. Uh, and of course, as I added the new infantry legendary heroes, they are giving us a legendary artifact for the <clears throat> infantry which is infantry, PvP and control. I do like the stats on the infantry and on, on the artifact and let's see how good it will be. The new beasts, I guess they are adding uh, new behemoths like Night Rock. Okay, fine. New Wonder. Um, also, the Dragon Trail impro improvements are pretty nice. Like, they are reducing the difficulty of Dragon Trail. Uh, like, uh, they adjusted the hero experience gain. Um, and also the currency used to buy items in the trail store has been renamed from the dragon glass to trail coins that's a nice change because dragon glass is hard to uh, say and trail coins is like dragon trail train coins so all good <clears throat> also what's the most important change on the dragon trail improvements is that dragon trail won't be giving us pre prestige anymore However, we can gain prestige by defeating Darklings, uh, Dark Creatures, donating Alliance technology and just purchasing it from the Merit Store. Which means there will be more and more ways to gain prestige, which is amazing because at the beginning of the reset of the season, it's always hard to get enough prestige. Uh, regarding like... There are huge changes uh, to the warped system, and it, it's good because it needed some upgrades. Uh, they changed the amount of XP, like they changed the XP gain um, uh, from the 53 to 60, uh, and it will be easier. I guess it's good because I have got my pet since the day one, and it's not 60 yet. Um, Improved war speed, warped skill description. I guess they will just give us full numbers uh, from the warped skills. Um, and they are adding new feature to uh, unlock the warped slot. That's great because it was missing, right? You, the only way we, we could uh, get the new warped slot was to regenerate. Now we have a way to get a uh, new warped slot by just clicking it like and sp spending like uh, skill cards. 
Uh, also, just they changed the Augustine uh, Stone rule, rules for the one rewards. It's not that important. Um, and also, Warped skill cards will now be temporarily stored in the mail system for seven days. Yeah, that's good because I was always worried that I would miss because whenever you are in alliance and you are getting a lot of uh, messages through the system, you can miss sometimes the Warped skill. Uh, that's uh, that's a good change. Uh, after that's now we are going to the one of the most important changes of the whole update in my opinion which is like pv improvements like after reaching like every hero reaches 15 level 50 like from now on heroes will be able to generate gain uh, obtain experience from just killing darklings and dark creatures now we will be able to get uh, our heroes to level 60 without even uh, merit farming or killing the enemies, which is amazing. Uh, okay, it just got popped up. Let's go back. Yeah, which is amazing. Uh, also, like rewards and the experience gain from the darklings and dark creatures are now same, uh, even uh, if there are they are like multiple um, legions around and hitting it. Uh, also, change the hero XP and Arcana Dust rewards for defeating Darklings. Now, like everything what it's, it's said here, it will be easier for us to kill Darklings. Rewards will be same. There will be more higher level Darklings and Dark creatures uh, on the map. Heroes can go to the level 60, 60 just uh, farming the Dark creatures. So, this is a great change since like uh, it's kind of boring to level up heroes um, after every reset uh, yes at first it was fun it's fun for one two seasons but when you imagine that you need to do it every time it gets boring now also uh, like uh, this is a new event also, like uh, significantly reduced XP requirements to level up heroes in season one, uh, one, uh, which like everything it is what's uh, said here means that like uh, XP gain is simple, uh, simpler. Um, heroes can go to level sixty. Dark creatures and darklings are giving a good and much better rewards. Um, they are they adjusted the cost of policies. Um, uh, this is amazing. Uh, and uh, now we move on to the uh, even richer uh, combat experience. Uh, what's most important here uh, is about rally mechanic. Whenever Legion launches a normal attack against your rallied army, it will launch a counter attack, but it will not attack any surrounding legions. This was like one of the most uh, sad thing in the game uh, currently. And I love that they changed this because it's like you are uh, disgracing the point of rallying. Uh, like, this is amazing change. Now, whenever you attack a rallied um, legion, they will just hit you with the counter-attack damage, which means like rallies won't be able to kill like 10 and 15 people by just hitting back, right? That's amazing uh, change. Or also... <clears throat> Uh, alliance keeps are no longer strongholds, that's like a good change to have uh, during the war stages. But most important is this, like, the rallies just give you, will hit you just counter-attack damage. This is like one of the most important. Mm. More accessible map, I, I guess they will improve the terrain, uh, terrain like a uh, new season map. Uh, beasts uh, search feature will be uh, better. Uh, uh, existing seasonal content. This is important. Now, this is my second favorite uh, thing about this update, uh, which we will uh, speak more deeply. Uh, the reset adjustments, which I thought we needed that, and they gave us. Um, first of all, one of the main and most important updates through the reset adjustments is that if your le uh, hero's level is more than 30, whenever there is a reset, every hero which was last season higher than 30 will be 30. If they're above level 30, they will be reset to level 30. So, uh, like every hero which is 50, 45, 60, 
uh, whenever new season will come, every hero will be level 30, which is a lot easier to, for us to get it to the stage where it's good, right? Because level 30 means uh, 30 points to talents, and you already have a legion, you already uh, know how you already fighting, so everything is sped up, right? Second most important, artifact levels will not be reset, and uh, arcane dust will not be scrapped. Which means uh, our artifacts levels will be uh, same, and the dust, if you want to uh, take the dust into the season, next season, dust will be with you. Uh, <clears throat> also, Dragon Trail uh, Challenge difficulty will not be reset. More, it's just simply there will be more, more stages uh, and more uh, unlocked as the season progresses. Like whenever, like as season goes on, there will be more rewards. That's, uh, that's it. Uh, the higher level enemies, which uh, I think we needed, like whenever season is moving forward, Darklings and Dark Creatures levels will go up by season is progressing. Uh, like some of the policies will be adjust, maybe they will change some trees. Um, also, Alliance Lidl's will be selecting the new uh, map when where whole Alliance will be teleported uh, in the next season, which is amazing. And if you are without Alliance, uh, then you can change. You can uh, choose by yourself. It will make easier for alliances to recruit the same members. This is amazing change for the leaders and for the officers of the alliances. Um, also, res Resurgence uh, feature is uh, adjust. Uh, now you can research on the first seven days of the season, uh, which was like a lot less before. Uh, new, like small changes with the village, not important. Uh, Augustine change is not that important. Mm, uh, uh, also, like there is some changes regarding like uh, alliances. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and also for the people who want who want to know what's the future of their season, whenever like you want to have a late season management of the future as an alliance leader and as an alliance officer, you can have a, a feature uh, where you can just click on the top of the uh, screen and you will have a, a late season like uh, announcer where you can see where your alliance is going, like the information about the other servers. And stuff like this is all about like information about the uh, other uh, servers. Like regarding uh, alliance system improvements, like you can able to refresh the merit shop more often. Uh, now you can uh, open ten gifts by a single click. Why ten? But okay. Um, the alliance donations will have a less cooldown. I guess it will be not not that important, but fine. Uh, but uh, the rewards will be same. It, like what's important from this is rewards, but rewards will be same. Uh, like there will be more uh, events, uh, more uh, ways to get uh, tokens, more ways to get uh, like uh, keys, more ways to uh, get new heroes. I won't go gonna go deep inside the enjoyable events. Uh, also, like of course, there will be new behemoths, as I already said. And uh, what's under here? This is, I think, not that important. This is like communication. Also, what's the most important here is like uh, here will be a union chat. Uh, whenever you will, your alliance will be unioned with the other alliance, you have you will have a separate chat. And this is all about the whole update. I think the most important was the hero levels and the artifacts reset change. Uh, also, um, the future alliance cha alliance teleportation to the new season will be changed, and that's important. We understood, and we it was confirmed already that will there will be two legendary infantry heroes. Dragon Trail changes pretty nice. Also, warped slots changes uh, nice. I think this is a move to the good direction. Uh, I hope you liked the explanation. I hope you understood the general idea about this update. Um, and yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.